Hey guys, uh, Pokemon Quest is out. If you didn't notice, I am a little bit excited. I played it on the Switch a little bit and it seemed like a game more fit for me. I remember Pokemon Go came out and I didn't really care for it that much, even though I know like so many people were crazy over it, but I am really excited about this one. So let's get playing. Oh, and I just wanted to say thank you to my mom. My mom, she actually made this for me and isn't it adorable? I love it. But my favorite Pokemon is actually Snorlax. I think he is so cute and he's my spirit animal because I love to take naps. But anyways, let's get started in the game. Okay, I have headed for a small island that was recently discovered called Tumble Cube Island. There are traces of a civilization that used to exist on this island, and there could be a lot of precious loot to be discovered. My goal is to thoroughly explore Tumble Cube Island and, and uncover its awesomeness, awesome loot. I'll be arriving at Tumble Cube Island shortly. I can't wait to see what treasures await me. Yeah, sorry, let me make sure I put my headphones on so I can hear the sound. Pokemon Quest! All right, tap to start. Okay, so one thing that I like, it's like a good and a bad thing about this, is that it is, at least on the Switch, it was single player. And that's a good thing because it won't be as competitive and you feel like if you log in all the time, like with Disney Heroes Battle Mode. But then sometimes it gets lonely. Beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. Hmm. My Moby 4, the drone manufactured by Silphco, I brought here to detect loot, is acting strange. What's wrong, Moby? Boop, boop. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, I guess I have no choice but to restart it. Beep, beep. Blah, 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 blah. That's gibberish. I don't know. How, how do you say gibberish? That looks like he's back to normal. Reset complete. Please input the owner's name. The maximum number of characters is 12. Can I do a geeky check? Oh, no. Not that happy face. Yes. Your name must fit within a geeky chick, right? Yes. Good morning, a geeky chick. Here's the news for today. <laughs> I'm not interested in the news right now, Moby. I'd rather get to exploring this land. Would you have a look around for me first? Understood. Begin scouting Tumble Cube Island. <laughs> Stand by. I have no recorded data on this island. Guidance will be necessary. Yes. Okay. There appear to be some Pokemon nearby that live on the island. They should be familiar with the island landscape. Why not befriend one of them so it can show you us so it can show us the way? I see. Sounds like a plan. Let's try it out. Tap the Pokemon so we can look at them. And I guess they each are gonna start off with some stats. So we have um, this guy's just 101, 101. And he's water. Um, he's ground. 126 HP, 76 attack. Let's see, we'll choose, will you choose Charmander, an attacking Pokemon that burns up with the power of five, burns everything up, 76 HP, but a high attack. Um, Eevee, this is who I picked, I think I picked Eevee. Will you choose Eevee, a well-balanced Pokemon that toys with his opponents with its tricky moves? And let's see, what Pikachu. Pikachu, will you choose Pikachu, an attacking Pokemon that boats a shocking electric? So he's electric. Hmm. Where was the one? I guess, I think I'm gonna... 76. But he's like high. It's like, that's a high attack though. I was thinking maybe just the balanced one, you know? Since we don't really know what's going on. So let's go with Eevee again. Yes. And hopefully we'll be able to get those other guys later. You befriended Evie. It seems our preparations are complete, a geeky chick. We'll head out and have a look around the island. Expedition start. Pokemon move toward enemies on their own and attack them. So it's like auto. 
We're ready to fight. And they're behind the tree. We can't even see anything and we can't move them. Yay, wave cleared. All right. Pokemon no moves. By tapping the icon for one of your Pokemon moves, you can give the order to use that move. So we can use takedown or flail. Let's do takedown. Oh yeah. I got them. Flail. Yay! Okay. In the top right corner, we look like we have four waves. Take down. Oh, <laughs> that's good. I'm so excited. And this is the tutorial. <laughs> Wave cleared. I like this music, it's cute. Rattata. Really strong looking Pokemon alert. Oh no! Take him down! Yes! It's so intense. Well, he's not doing that much damage. Boom! Yay! We won. It's probably meant for you to win. <laughs> Stage cleared. Expedition results. We leveled up to level two and got something with a heart down there. All right, power stones are important items that you can give your Pokemon to make them stronger. As you progress through stages, you'll be able to get strong power stones. Okay, so we got fifth. Oh no, we got one power stone with that gives attack plus fifty. Hmm, I think we can end our expedition for now. I need to find a place where I can set up a base camp. Okay, so this is camp. Oh, it looks like I found a quite a nice clearing. I'll make this my base. What about the, the bizarre stone I found earlier? Is there any, is there some way I could use it? When a Pokemon took out the stone, the Pokemon's body started to glow. Try attaching the power stone you got on your expedition to your Pokemon. Okay. Pokemon on Tumble Cube Island have mysterious charms known as power charms. When you put a power stone into a socket on a power charm, it can raise the Pokemon's HP or attack. So we're gonna put this on him in the middle. With the Everstone button, you can give a Pokemon an Everstone that will stop it from evolving. Why would I, hmm. I'm not sure what that means or why we would want to do that. Looks like my Pokemon has gotten stronger. Guess it's time to start exploring. Expeditions. All right, you can start an island expedition from the dungeon icon. The goal of the game is to find precious loot that lies hidden on the island as you progress on your expeditions. And so this is that we have all these areas that we need to explore. Over here. Guys, let me know in the comments if you think you're going to try this game out too. Okay, wild Pokemon. Take down. Oh, what happened to him? Did, did he die immediately? <laughs> Yay! Ooh, we got something. That looked cool. I like this song. Okay, we'll do the take down again. <laughs> it's killing them like in one hit. Let me just try to kill him. Yeah. All right. And then we'll save our attack. Refreshed up for, it looks like probably the, the strong Pokemon. Or no. We're not there yet. There we go. No? Maybe? Looks like he's just having his fight. There we go. More Pokemon appear. There we go. Meow. I wonder if he's gonna kill me. I only have half of my health. Oh no, we got him. Yay! Ooh. Why did they have like a question mark? Let's see. 
Ooh, now we have space for a heart stone. But we didn't get one. Okay. Energy final expeditions. Oh, that went too quick. I couldn't read it. You found some ingredients. It looks like you could cook with it. If you cook something, it should attract some Pokemon. So let's go to base camp. We're going to cook up something in our pots. You're all ready to start cooking now. Use the ingredients you found on Tumble Cube Island to cook up some dishes for Pokemon. All right. When you cook up some food, Pokemon that like that kind of food will come, with, come visit your base camp. Tap an ingredients icon to put that ingredient in your cooking pot. Once you fill the pot, you're ready to cook. And oh, it looks like it's telling us what to cook. Okay, start cooking. When your dish has finished cooking will depend on how many times you've gone out on expeditions on the island. If you use PM tickets, which are special items, you can finish cooking your dish right away. So I guess I was like speeding it up. Just this time, here are some PM tickets you can use to finish cooking your dish right away. Okay. Mulligan stew a la cube. Whatever ingredients you like. So it's like basic. Favorite, favorite food of some Pokemon on Tumble Cube Island. So who's gonna come visit us? Oh, two people? Did we get two? We've got Rattata. Add it to the Pokedot. Congratulations, you befriended a new Pokemon. Now keep on befriending more Pokemon. And Pidgey became your buddy. Yay! We've got a whole crew at the Pokemon you befriended to your expedition team. Okay, now we have a whole team. Put him here. And so put him there. Yay! And get back out. Your cooking pot is empty. Why not start cooking another dish before heading out on an expedition? Alright. So we get to oh I said auto set. When you press auto set, your ingredients will be set randomly. Okay. Your ingredients will be used up when you cook. Would you like to start cooking? Your dish will finish cooking after you've gone on a few expeditions. Don't forget to start making a new dish before you head out on your next expedition. So it looks like we need to do two. So we'll jump out of here and do two. The total of your team's members HP and attack is your team's strength. At each spot where you can head out on an expedition, the strength of enemies will be displayed. This should give you an idea of what your team's strength should be. Pokemon with the same type as the bonus type for the place you're heading out on an expedition to will have a higher HP and attack than normal, making them stronger than they usually are. Bonus type fighting, but I don't think any of these guys are fighting. We have auto. We're fighting. And we have auto, they'll just do their attack on their own. Which it seems like okay. Nobody's dying. At least in the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine with this. We'll see how this goes. Who's doing... I think... Okay, maybe one of my people are doing the tornado. Okay. I was just thinking, like... Are they not using their... Okay. Kakuna. Strong looking Pokemon alerts! It looks like we gotta beat some little guys first, too. Oh no! Are they okay? No, they're taking him on. Oh, yay! Good job! 
And let's see what happens. Oh, but I think we need to do one more expedition. Yep. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff too. Yes! Member services. At this rate, you might run out of supplies. If you'd like, you can connect to the shop to get more. All right, so here's the shop. You can obtain things that will help you on your expeditions on Tumblecube Island from the Pokemart. You can use special items called PM tickets to exchange for certain things from the Pokemon Mart. Or Pokemart, sorry. As a service for members, you can receive PM tickets on a regular basis. PM tickets are precious items. Don't forget to pick them up when you play the game. And so, you could buy decorations. It's not letting me look at anything. <laughs> it's like, no prices buy. And that's it for the basics of expeditions. So get out there and find the loot that awaits on Tumblecube. We received 100 tickets as a gift to com commemorate the release of Pokemon Quest. Yes! And what is this? Look like we completed something. You can receive items for reward as rewards for your activities on Tumblecube Island. Sometimes you can even get some precious PM tickets. Ooh. Fossil. There are some items that you can only receive as rewards for quests. If you get stuck during your expeditions on Tumblecube Island, it might be a good idea to try taking on some quests. Okay. And then we can receive that bomb mushroom. And these are the main ones. Basics of strengthening the Pokemon. First step. I guess those are those. And right, let's look at our Pokemon real quick. We can probably we have only one heart. Who do we want to put that on? Um we'll put it on him. We just put this on everybody. Everybody get something. And then I think they opened up another spot and then they just need the heart. Okay. And they had auto set for that too, where it'll just automatically put something on everybody. And then so that finished a quest for us. And we get five tickets. I wanted to go back really quick and look at the shop. We got decorations are handy. They make your expeditions on the island more efficient. Decorations have special effects that activate when you obtain them. You can also decorate your base camp with them by tapping the decorations button. Ooh, lots of fun looking things, guys. Box expansions, stone box expansion, Pokemon box expansion, and member services additional content. And these are like bundles. So they got mini expedition pack, $2.99. Ooh, and then, okay, that one has a limited time. An expedition three pack bundle for $29.99. Looks like you get Snorlax in there. Looks like you get a lot of people in there. Does it tell you? Um, you get a bonus level one Snorlax, but I had to pay 30 for that. And then this is $4.99. We got a $9.99. Oh, $17.99, just Snorlax. I'm like, how, do, how can I get Snorlax? That is my one and only goal. It's either $17.99 or $29.99. I know what I am doing this Friday. Okay, but we might go ahead and do that $2.99 one this weekend too, because this is with 71 hours. This is Wednesday. So we'll wait and we'll see. But okay guys, it's been about 20 minutes on this video and I'm gonna end it here because it looks like I would still have to do like three, how many more? I think I only have to do one more. Do we have enough power? We do. Let's go ahead and do this so we can see what we get from our stew pot.
Ooh, we're at the battle now. Star looking Pokemon alerts. Yeah, let's, let's try to do this like not on auto. <laughs> I don't even know what that did. Oh, that threw a tornado at him. I like that. You're a goner. But did he die? Yeah, Eevee died. <laughs> what? I just noticed Eevee was gone. But it looks like it's okay if they die. It's not like a one, two, three, four star kind of thing. Okay. Ooh, we got a lot of good stuff. Let's go. Setting power stones. Alright. Everything seems to be going fine for now. The farther you go out on the island, the stronger the wild Pokemon get. You should collect more power stones and befriend more Pokemon to get stronger as you head further out. Alright, let's go back home. Pokemon that want to be your buddies will come to your base every 22 hours. If you've encountered a rare Pokemon during an expedition, there's a chance it may come visit your base too. Did someone come visit our base? You've completed a main quest. No. I wanted to see, did someone come visit? I don't think so. I don't think anybody came to visit us. <laughs> okay, let's see what kind of soup did we make. <coughs> Mouth watering dip a la cube. A whole lot of soft things and a lot of blue. Favorite food of water Pokemon type. So we made something different. I'll have to go back and see what we made. <laughs> crab. We could tell. It looked like a crab. Okay, Krabby. Krabby became your buddy. Okay, and so the next thing. Oh, let's collect this quest. Receive. Ooh, battery. Oh, I wonder if I should have received that. I kind of feel like I should have waited to receive the battery. Because now I'm six out of five, but was, you know, next time I'll know. So it means I have to play a little bit more later. All right, let's see. What are we going to do? So that was, we made a whole lot of blue. It was like two red and three blue. So let's do, or maybe it was, yeah. We can only do. Okay, so let's have three. All right, so let's do the like maybe gray. We'll do all gray because it looks like we can do that. And we gotta do four attacks. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Went a little bit longer than I expected to. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you will be playing this game, maybe we can share recipes together and you know, just which Pokemon that we have. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.